So uh, today we'll read regarding the surfaces and the borders of the humerus. We'll read the bony landmarks of the humerus and also few of the important bony prominences and the groups of this particular thing. On the last class, we will read regarding the ossification, regarding the site determination and the anatomical position of this one. As camera pin te point for one is the surface and the border. Second is the bony landmarks and the groups. And each landmark is having its own important points to understand. As I told on the last class, that whenever I'll be holding a bone, I'm talking at a bone, I just have to hold the bone in the particular side. And why I seeing this, which side is this? I think you can tell now. It's the left side. So I supposed to hold this bone on this way. And also in the last class, you people understood this is the anterior and this is the posterior surface. So, am I holding the bone in the proper position? Yes. yes. So, this is the anterior aspect and this is the posterior aspect. What easiest way to understand the anterior and the posterior because I told there is a simple triangular shape, there is a line in the anterior aspect and there is bit of flat surface on the posterior aspect. Who are they and that how the borders and the surface are made. Today we will read first point the border and the surface of the humans. What is exactly this word means border? A room that the quarter border as you the very For this particular room, how many borders are there? Easy. Four. If there is a four border, then how many surface is there? Of course, supposed to be the open term is the case. Leave then the four. So, if I talk about the whole area, is the four. So, which one is the border? This corner is the border or surface? Border. Then, which one is the surface? This whole wall is the surface. Same thing in the long bones, it's also present in our all the long bones, mainly in the humerus. And it Jamun border or surface at a wall same thing is present for this particular bone too. Now I am holding the bone in the anatomical position. And in this particular anatomical position, I can see three lines. Those who practice on the last class, few people I saw went and doing the practice in the lab. Those who palpated, they can feel that there are three lines over here. You can see one line, the way I am dragging my finger, this is one line, we will come to know what is this line. See this, I am dragging my finger, this is one line. Again, I will make the bone ulta, that means on the posterior aspect, I can see one line is coming like this, and I can see one line is coming like this. So there is a three line in the anterior and the posterior aspect of the sept of the humerus. Mani humerus is sept a tinte line ami dekhte paachi. One line like this, one line over here, and the another line over here. So this is the lines. These lines are called as a border. These lines are called as a border. A line ta thale kutha hai achi. This line, samne dikhe. This will be the anterior border. So we can find three lines as you people told the first line is present on the anterior aspect. Then what I will take the particular 
line or the border it is a anterior border the two lines is present not exactly posterior but one on the medial one on the lateral then what will be the next lateral border and the medial border so a glomerular sac is having a three border that the anterior eta kon dik ta head ta je dikhe thakbe seta kon dik this side it will be medial that is which border is supposed to be medial as simple as it is a side to b side lateral then which border it will be so a glomerular sac is having a three border anterior medial and lateral right so it be easy not that much difficult now i told this is the border and this is the surface border dutto border er majhe ki thake surface now see this is the anterior border eta kon border bollam ami lateral border dutto border dutto line one line and another line in between is the surface then what will be the name of the surface anterior lateral surface so that's how the names is given if you understand it's bit easy this is the anterior border this is the lateral border so the surface which present between the anterior and the lateral is called as anterior lateral surface again this is the anterior border this is the medial border so this is the surface the flat one is the surface anterior medial surface the third one now i will make the bone on the i will see the bone from the posterior aspect this is the lateral this is the medial border আর তার দুজনের মাঝখানে এই দুটো আঙ্গুলের মাঝখানে देयर इज अ সারফেস ফ্ল্যাট সারফেস ইজ कॉल्ड অ্যাজ পোস্টেরিয়র সারফেস সো এ হিউমেরাল স্যাক ইজ হ্যাভিং এ থ্রি বর্ডার এন্ড থ্রি সারফেস হু আর দ্য থ্রি মাস মোর টু রিপিট অ্যান্টেরিয়র বর্ডার মিডিয়াল বর্ডার এন্ড দ্য ল্যাটারাল বর্ডার তার মানে স্যার এটা যদি এই রকম হলো জিনিসটাকে দেখতে this this is the anterior border this is the lateral border this is the medial border that means ei je surface ta hocche anterior medial surface anterior lateral surface ar ei je angle ta hocche the posterior surface so no need to think of anything this is how you need to remember the borders and the surface of this particular bone and that is how this surface and the border is made আশা করি খুব ডিফিকাল্ট নয় যদি বুঝবো এই জিনিসটা সো देयर इज अ থ্রি বর্ডার এন্ড দ্য সি সারফেস ফর দিস পার্টিকুলার বোন নাও উই উইল গো এ বিট ডিফিকাল্ট এন্ড বিট ফিউ মোর নেমস উইল কাম টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্য বোনি ল্যান্ডমার্কস অফ দিস পার্টিকুলার বোন মানে এই বোনে দেখছো অনেকগুলো উঁচু নিচু জায়গা আছে দিস অল আর কলড অ্যাজ এ বোনি ল্যান্ডমার্কস বোনি ল্যান্ডমার্কস মানে হচ্ছে অনেক প্রমিনেন্স দেখো এখান থেকে একটু উঁচু এখানে একটু নিচু কেন এগুলো প্রত্যেকটার একটা ইম্পর্টেন্স আছে দ্যাটস হোয়াট ইটস कॉल्ड অ্যাজ এ বোনি ল্যান্ডমার্কস হু আর দে আর কি নামকরণ ছিল দ্যাটস হোয়াট উই উইল গো ফার্স্ট আই এম হোল্ডিং দা বোন ইন দা অ্যানাটমিক্যাল কন্ডিশন ইউ পিপল নো দিস ইজ দা লেফট সাইড বোন ইউ ক্যান সি দা হেড অফ দা হিউমেরাস you can see the neck you can see this sac eta naam ki chilo just as a whole lower end so upper end of the head neck sac lower end this is the ball of the humerus kar sathe articulate korche namta ki acetabular car bone bone part which bone part it is is the scapula so this is the head of the ball of humerus jeta age din ekta ne already tumra chine gechho there are two bony prominences over here two bony prominences over here where i keep my both the finger 
one is big upward, one is big diagonal downward. Ready? A rakam bhabe ase. This one is named as. This one was lesser tubercle. Kano greater than lesser bolchi ami. The reason is ekjon uchu the, aur ekjon ekto diagonally nichu the. So this bony prominences. This bony prominences is named as a greater tubercle. This bony prominence is named as a lesser tubercle. Now, in between both the tubercles, in between both the tubercles, you can see a hollow space. That's why we paint the go like this. In between both the tubercles, they create a much kind of line motor. And this was named as intertubercular groups or sulcus, or there was a name is the bicipital group. That means our three bony prominences are named in the already poured in the greater tubercle, lesser tubercle, bicipital group. Can you group the name for one bicipital for a reason? The reason is long head of the biceps. Biceps muscles from the shop by Tonga Jano. The long head of the biceps muscle is to pass from it. And that's the reason. That's the reason why this group is named as a bicipital group. See how the group is made up of. Took back the hollow for the years with an egg, but you can have to be a tinted head of the chulea. Can you jive? Horror don't have to heavy cuts for the gas cylinder to the matter weights to the lake and take an injection. Biceps tender take and just to go with an ear. Biceps is the muscle to do a heavy object lifting. Now let him took a rupture for chance on a basic. Third year in the Tonga could be what is bicycle daily night is. Excessive to be on the load now. Suddenly the biceps will pop out. That's what is called as a bicycle daily night. That's later on you will come. So the three bony prominences we read over here, one greater, lesser, and bicipital group. Now, now these two bony prominences we know very good. These two are the epicondyles. This is which side? Medial. Why you told medial? What's the reason you told medial? medial. Okay, head towards the media side. That's one cause. Any other cause? I have to cause me bolus either. Yes. Medial epicondyle is more prominent than the lateral one. Media attack into lateral is a borrow. If you palpate your own hand, which is the Niger Hatta palpate coro, they may a sided heart the Bishi boost a bunch of a sided comparison. So this is the Medial epicondyle, when I mean, you put a good in the boy, a jagger, a busy barrier, a jagger, a form barrier. Same, so this is the medial epicondyle, and this is the lateral epicondyle. Now, but hello for a genius goes good. Jara Bunta Torea Shoko, but Jara is a therefore, from the medial epicondyle, from the medial epicondyle. There is a line it's going. Again, from the lateral epicondyle, there is a line is going. Both are getting merged over here. About what she from the medial epicondyle, there is a line. From the lateral epicondyle, there is a line. Both the line is going upward. If the line of posterior side is going upward and it's getting merged over here. These lines are called as a supracondylar ridges. R I D G E S. G E E S. Supracondylar ridge. R I D G E S. Supra being a judging minister. Supra cotter maniki. Supra cotter maniki up, but opore. Condylar. 
এগুলোকে কি নাম বলেছেন একটু আগে এপিকন্ডাইল এর উপরে আছে এই জন্য নামকরণটা কিভাবে হয়েছে ভাবো সুপ্রা কন্ডাইলার অ্যাভাব দা কন্ডাইল রিচ রিচ मींस এ লাইন দা লাইন হুইচ ইজ কামিং फ्रॉम দা এপিকন্ডাইল অফ फ्रॉम বোথ দা সাইডস ইটস কলড ইজ এ সুপ্রা কন্ডাইলার তার মানে এটা কোন কোন সুপ্রা কন্ডাইলার হবে মিডিয়াল সুপ্রা কন্ডাইলার লাইন অফ দা রিচ এটা কোনটা হবে ল্যাটারাল সুপ্রা কন্ডাইলার লাইন অফ দা রিচ বোথ উইল গো আপওয়ার্ড দুটো এরকম ভাবে যাচ্ছে এন্ড বোথ উইল মার্জ ওভার হিয়ার পোস্টেরিয়ার clear now now i am holding this bone again in the anatomical position i told both the lines are going upward and getting merged over here bhalo bolo jabo tomader ei straight e bone ki ei dutto line ei dik diye jacche and both the lines are getting merged in this particular point tamane oi point ta kon dike this area is which side posterior that means over here the line where it get merged is having a groove this is the position there is a groove this is the position there is a groove where both the lines used to get merged where is the link is if i hold my hand and if i palpate ekhane ekta muscle thake kono naam bolte parbe ei muscle tar naam ta ki easy sobai jana uchit is that triceps tik ei jayga thete there is a groove and that groove is having a name it's called as a radial groove radial groove r a d i a l radial groove where it is on the posterior aspect tik ei jayga thate just near the three fiber division of the triceps muscle now eba tomar moner modhe ekta question ashe je what's the importance of this particular This radial group, namta kuno ekta jinis theke is the already namta kono jano is the radial nerve. That means the importance of this particular group is the radial nerve is to pass over there. That's why that group is named as the radial group. How easy to understand if you flex your elbow and if you just palpate and if you press it. it is very much painful for him this nerve is to get damage over here at a uh, there is a anatomical condition it's called as a saturday night palsy saturday night palsy what is saturday night and why it is that much important to understand the saturday night ke bolte parbe what is saturday night বলো সাউস করে বলো কোনো অসুবিধা নেই হোয়াই ইট ইজ কলড এজ এ অ্যানাটমিতে এরকম অনেক কিছু আছে হোয়াট ইজ স্যাটারডে নাইট স্যাটারডে উইকেন্ড পার্টি হয় আর ও পার্টি যারা ছয় করছে তারপর কি বলো তারপর ভিডিও যদি ভিডিও এক্সাইটেড এক্স্যাক্টলি ভেরি গুড পুরো বলতে বলতে স্যাটারডে নাইট পাস ইজ এ কন্ডিশন মেইনলি ইউজ টু হ্যাপেন দোজ হু ইজ টু ক্রোনিক ব্রাউনস मींस ইফ ইউ ড্রিং and you forget that how you will sleep you will keep the hand on the heart surface and you will sleep that result is the radial nerve to get compressed over here and that's condition it's called as a saturday night palsy kothay hoy ei radial groove that's what importance of this particular groove is ki naam group ta tahole is the radial groove clear for all आरोप आठ टेबल नी प्रोमिनेंस आज के तो मुझे कोट के हैं। Now, those who are holding the bone on the lateral aspect, you can see a rough surface. On the lateral aspect of the bone, 
इनके लिए राग सर है दोस हु आर होल्डिंग द बोन ऑन द लेटरल एस्पेक्ट यू कैन सी ए राग सर है प्रचंड प्लेन स्मूथ इनसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसारेसार
আবার আমি যখন ওপেন করছি এটা দেখো দূর থেকে বেরিয়ে আসছে so that's the reason why this group is made up এই গ্রুপ গুলো কিন্তু এই জন্যই তৈরি করা হয়েছে জাস্ট কয়েকটা নাম আছে ভালো করে শুনে নাও তাহলে কিন্তু বলে দেন না সাকসেস হয়ে যাবে बोनी पार्ट्स दिस टू आर द एपिकोंडाइल दिस इज द मीडियल एपिकोंडाइल दिस इज द लैटरल एपिकोंडाइल टुवर्ड्स द मीडियल एपिकोंडाइल मीडियल एपिकोंडाइल है दिखे जे फ्लैट बोनी प्रोमिनेंसेस जेटा थाके शेटा नाम होचे टी आर ओ ये लोग शॉप मने आते होंगे किंतु पुरी फैक्ट्री लोग जिगेस करा बाय ट्रॉप लिया टी आर ओ सी एच एल ई ए ट्रफिया देखे बोल रेडियन पिछोने दिको देखो there is a one more hollow space for the articulation for another bone again the ulna posterior aspect of the ulna these three is also having three names above the trochlea ठीक ए जाएगा तो above the trochlea exactly there is a hollow space or process that it's called as a unoid C O N O I D, unoid. C O N O I D process. Above the trochlea or the groove, both. Do you do they both? The part of them. Groove means it's a khali jayega. Above the capitula, it is the radial. Radial groove. ियम Above the trochlea, there is a hollow space, unoid groove. 
above the capitulum, there is a hollow space that is the radial hook. On the posterior aspect, hook like the Hanlan Mathata, it of a way more the boss on Atkanata. It and now on the polycrinan O L E C R E N O N, Oli Cray non root. So these as in whole the bony prominences of the humerus. Again, to remember that lower end of the humerus with bony prominences is the most common five mass question asked in the exam. An exam is describe the bony prominences of the lower end of the humerus. On a body question, that is the same as the bony prominence, the groove, the process is not clear. Clear? I'm going to show you the